What up, everybody? Carbo Moses with you. Welcome. Time to do 2018 Bowman Hobby number 30 eBay style. All right, let's get that done. So this is Bowman number 30. After this is done, will be Majestic number 9, then Majestic number 10, then Spectra Basketball, and that'll do it for the eBay breaks. What's this going on about gambling on uh, on Sports Center? Any of you guys watching Sports Center? Ooh, uh, Austin Hayes, super! I like your style. New York legalized sports books. I don't know. So, what does that mean? Yeah, Nevada sports books apparently made two hundred and fifty million dollars or something. Let's open the packs up here. Uh, Supreme Court overturned the federal ban on sports betting. So what exactly does that mean? Does that mean that anybody, like any state now, can, can bet on sports? U.S. Supreme Court. Court strikes down federal law banning sports gambling. Only Nevada has been permitted to allow full-blown sports betting since 1992. It means the states can decide now whether sports betting is good or not. Sports betting legalized. Nice. For y'all. They think over the next 32... Uh, they think over the next few years, 32 states or so will make it legal. Ah, the vote. It's up to the state. Gotcha. So is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I mean, as, as someone that's li literally never bet, I have no idea. Yeah, I can see some of the bigger states doing it. You know, like New York, Texas. I think California would be down with, to get down. Maybe Florida, too. New Jersey plans to be first state to offer legal sports betting other than Nevada. Well, yeah, Atlantic City, no shit. It's legal everywhere in Australia. You do it via mobile apps. Yeah, exactly. That's, well, I mean, I don't know. Oh, Texas will never do it. Because Baptist runs, well, whatever. Never say never, Bodine, never say never. Yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I was thinking, William. I'm like, well, now that it's, now if it's legal, everywhere or anywhere, Nevada gets something like four billion in betting. 
The estimate is that in the U.S. there's 150 billion sports betting. That's a lot of taxes being paid right there. Never say never, Bodine. Never say never. They said uh, sports owners would double their profits. Well, shit, hell yeah. If anything, triple. Because now it's not just Nevada. Yeah, Nevada's going to get hurt big time. But now everybody is going to get in on it? I mean, I, st I still think Nevada is still... I mean, it's, it's Vegas. Come on now. But now we're going to see little mini Vegases pop up here and there. Hmm, interesting, interesting. How that how that one ruling has cascading effects throughout the nation. You know, I always thought that stuff like the uh, you know how you could like you know pick 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 a team or whatever like what's I can't think of it right now. But where you can like you could buy players and you know bet on single games every day. I forget what the name of the website is. But there was like there was some uh, some hoopla about that. Do you know what I'm talking about, anybody? Where like you could pick, you know, you had like a certain amount and you had to use that amount to buy your players. Sports books in Vegas are awesome, man. I need to, I need to learn about all that stuff. DraftKings, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, like I, I thought, I, I heard there, or at least a couple years ago or something, but there was like some, there was an issue, or you know, of the legalities of DraftKings. Maybe over the same deal, sports betting only legal in Nevada at the time. Is maybe is that why? Gambling is worse than crack cocaine. Mm -hmm. Speaking from experience, there, Bodine. Uh, are, 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 you, are, you, are you getting serious on me? That's the American dream, though, Bodine. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, obviously. Chris, if you're going to bed, I'm going to break that for you tomorrow, dude. Deal, Chris? I'll be live at 6 o'clock Eastern. I'll wait for you to come into the room, and we'll get it breaking. Sound good? Sounds good, Chris. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Have a good night's sleep. And I'll catch you tomorrow.
slots are like heroin. You don't know it's got you until it's too late. <laughs> Have I ever been experienced on in, in, in certain things, Bodine? Certain, but not gambling. I, I don't. I'm not a gambler, at least not in the money sense. Because a big a big component of gambling is having money. What's what's the Jimmy song? Bodine, I mean, what can I tell you? Um, my, my brain's everywhere. Are you ignorant? Yes, very. That and, you know, I got... Uh, I, I, yeah. I know who Jimi Hendrix is. I just don't know what is a Jimi Hendrix. You said, oh, that's a Jimi Hendrix song. What's a Jimi Hendrix song? You know, I say something and then immediately I forget it. It's one of my not so uh, good traits. Have have you ever been experienced igno? That's the name of the song. Yeah, that's a hell of a that's a hell of a song title. What's the name of the song? Experienced? Yeah, way over my head, Bo, Bo, way over my head, Bodine. You got to keep in mind, I'm 28, and when Jimi Hendrix was was popping, I was nowhere near being thought of conceived. Exactly, exactly, Bodine, exactly, exactly. Just take take that into consideration. I didn't ask to be here, yet here I am. Learn your history. Yeah, because they taught Jimi Hendrix in my community college. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix is cool. But, you know, I'll be honest, it's not really my cup of tea, Bodine. You know, I'd rather listen to Tupac than listen to Jimi Hendrix any day. Any day. Just, 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 just to let you know. I appreciate that, Richard. Well, you know how, you know me, man? I do know, I'm pretty good with movies. With music, I just don't like rock. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of rock music, Bodine. I'm just not. I really, I do like movies, though. I really like movies.
<laughs> Fair enough, Bodine. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, the only rock music that I really enjoy is uh, Journey, but that's Journey. Ah, the name, the song of the, the name of the song is "Are You Experienced?" Ah, in your face, Bodine. I got somebody over on YouTube that actually does listen to Jimmy. So in your face, sucker. Anyways. Let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. Bowman number 30 here. Let's see what we got. Now we got to hit something nice for Mikey for having my back. Let's see what we got. Jake, I don't had too many burgers to 4 dollars for the White Sox. I don't know, Bodine. Just, 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 just ignore me. Just ignore me. Like everybody else in my life. Bodine, I'm still waiting from that call from SNL, dog. By the way, have you done any shows lately? Have have you have you done any shows uh, lately, Bodine? It's from the Electric Ladyland album. Look at that, my boy. My boy Mikey knows his 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 Jimmy, and uh, I know Hunter Green Atomic. For the Reds. Why not, Bodine? Otani. Angels paper. Literally the only Jimi Hendrix like song that I that I kinda know is that Purple Haze. Purple Haze all in my brain. How about it? <laughs> That's as far as, as my Bodine goes. Well, Bodine, my question to you is why? Trevor Rogers to 150. Marlins. Miguel and Duhar to 499. Yankees. Uh, what's the song Purple Haze about? I can only imagine about the, uh, you know, you know, the old, uh, you know what I mean? Oh, it's about acid. Oh, crap. I thought it was about, uh, you know, pur Purple Haze is a strand of, 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 of fuzzy green leaves. So I just, I fit, well, it's actually not green, it's purple, hence the name Purple Haze. Really, it's like I'm gonna have to listen to that song again. Speaking of, I was watching like a documentary on uh, I forgot what the name of this festival is. Uh, it's uh, I don't think it's Burning Man. I, f I forget what the name of the festival was, but Carlos Santana had popped. A uh, very variable. It's cute though, right, Boldine? It's it's adorable. Um, I think Car Carlos Santana had like performed at this uh, at this venue while under the influence of LSD, and he killed it. Just like the Dodgers trying to kill it right here. DJ Peters, Woodstock. That's what it was. DJ Peters, Refractor Auto for the Dodgers. Number to four ninety nine. Orioles and Pirates, you must come out to play for Mikey. You have been summoned. Come on. And there, I also, I while I was on, this was like I was on a YouTube binge this night, uh, and I seen this other video. Of like a baseball player that had pitched while under the influence of LSD or acid, which in my mind, like, like, okay, I, whatever, anyways, yeah, like how? Like I'm trying to understand, like how? I need to see it. I need to see the movie Woodstock. I will do. I'm sure it's on YouTube. I mean, I've seen a few Woodstock video, like a few performances from Woodstock. It's it looks absolutely surreal, man. Seeing all those people out, like just waves of humans, is just crazy. I've seen I've seen many 
I've seen many Carlos Santana performances, dog. Like, that's one of my favorite artists right there. I, I'm familiar with Janis Joplin, uh, at least the name. People will say it's about town tripping on acid, but it's actually not. Uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash also sounds familiar. Yeah, some dude pitched a no-hitter while under the influence of acid or LSD, right? Jason says he lives 10 miles from where Woodstock was. Man, that would have that's something that I, 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 I say it all the time. I feel like I was born during the wrong era. I wish I was around to, like, go to Woodstock and, like, do all that shit, man. See, Bodine, my music knowledge, my music knowledge is more from, like, the 80s and forward. You know, I was born in 89, so, like, mo most of my musical knowledge is from the 80s and so on. And I, and I learned a little bit about, you know, music in the Americas, you know, you know, from, like, Dixieland and, you know, jazz and things of that nature. You went to Woodstock in 99? So you probably saw DMX, Mikey? Because that's that was the... I had seen a documentary on 99 Woodstock. And it was... Uh, uh, well, I seen DMX perform. And it just... It looked crazy, dude. Delvin Perez, Cardinals, Atomic. Man, good, I've been to a few concerts in my life. And it's... Concerts are a great time. But, I, man, Woodstock would have just been a whole nother level, man. That would have been so sick. Otani Angels paper. Why'd they stop Woodstock? Or do they still do it? Hunter Harvey to 125 Orioles. Bodine was born in Woodstock. Nice to know. In the river. <laughs> in the river. I could see it. Down the river comes little baby Bodine. With with a middle with a middle finger in his mouth. Dane Dunning to 125 White Sox. You came out swimming. What what you was hitting? The breaststroke? The butterfly? What what you got? What you got? The butterfly's a little tough. Butterfly's a little tough. Oh, you did the dog paddle and then the butterfly. For sure. On the property, they have one of the top 25 amphitheaters in the world now. People book shows there just to play the venue. Man. I got to visit. One of these other... I was... my oh Man, I go on these YouTube adventures. So, it was it was under... I was It was the same night. I was watching like a bunch of concerts and stuff. And I came across like this one video where it was like the top 10 largest concerts in the world. And I forgot who it was, but it was at a beach. And it was like close to like a million people on the beach. I forget the name of the artist that was performing. But it was like, it was ridiculous when I saw pictures of it. Uh, Derek Hall, Phillies autograph. Phillies auto rot dirt. People don't know how to act right. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I'm one of those people like, well, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know how to act either. But like, I'm one of those people that believe like if you put enough people in a specific area, it, you're just, you know, you're bound to do stupid things.
Like, stupid things are just gonna happen. That Hotel Artemis movie looks pretty cool. Every time, Jamie. Every time. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Need some color in these autos. Have I ever seen the Pearl Jam album with the baby in the water? I am familiar with the artwork, yes. Eloy Jimenez to four ninety nine whites. Actually, no. I'm thinking of the Nirvana. I'm thinking of the Nirvana uh, cover art. Man, I you know I regret not. Well, it's not like I could do, do anything about it, but I wish I was able to catch Michael Jackson in concert. That would have been crazy. CJ Chatham Atomic for the Red Sox. Corn, one of the favorites. You love it though, Bodine. You know you do. You know it's you know it's that uh that that childlike wonder charm. It's Shohei Otani Angels. There. I do I do remember that uh Jason. Yes. There was some show in, in the U in not in the UK, but in Russia with close to a million people. But it's I, I forget what the who the artist was but there was like like over a million people it was on a beach it was on a beach i want to say it was in california but it probably was like in some beach in argentina or something but it was over a million people and it was the largest like concert attendance in in recorded history you know, I'm sure when I'm sure when Jesus was rocking out back in the day, he had a, a, a good a good am amount of people. Anyway, uh, Dane Dunning to 125 for the White Songs. Hey Siri, what's the largest concert ever? I fucking love Siri. No way bigger than Woodstock. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. The record for biggest concert attendance is held by Vasco Rossi for a ticketed concert. And there it is, Rod Stewart for a free concert. So Vasco Rossi, the city was Modena. I have no idea what that was. It doesn't tell me how many people, though. Oh, yeah, it does. Let's see. Vasco Rossi. And this was Ju what? July 1st, 2017. So this was last year. Ticketed 220,000 people. Before that, Paul McCartney back in 1990 in Rio de Janeiro, 184,000 people. But the largest concert was Copacabana Beach. See? It, that was, so that's in Rio de Janeiro. Back in 1993, Rod Stewart, New Year's Eve, 3.5 million people in attendance. The other one was in Moscow, which is Russia. jean Mikhail Jarre, or however you say that. Uh, back in September of 97 with about 3 million people. That's a lot of freaking people. Dude, could you... Bro, 3 million people in one location? 
to listen to some music? That's crazy, dude. That's ridiculous. Well, it's still not close to 3 million people, Bodine. Rod Stewart got that record. Uh, Ivan Mott, what's up, man? Right now, this is Bowman Hobby number 30. Uh, Dominic Smith to 25 for the Mets. Google it, Bodine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, see? I don't, I don't turn the tables on you, dog. For the Marlins to 150, Mirandy Gonzalez. Marlins. Well, I'm not a fan of Rod Stewart either, but apparently in Brazil, 3.5 million people turned out on Copacabana Beach to watch him perform his greatest his greatest hits on New Year's Eve. Well, that that's also a factor too. It's New Year's Eve one. It's in Copacabana Beach, which is a Rio de Janeiro, Brazil two, and it's a free concert three. So all of Brazil came out to go watch Rod Stewart New Year's Eve. And they I, and I I don't I, I want, do they did they even understand what the hell he was singing about? Probably Bodine, probably. For the Red Sox, there's the autograph, Mike Shawarin. Autograph for the Red Sox. Have you been to Rio de Janeiro, Boldin? Talking a little reckless, man. Can't talk bad about a place you've never been to. I'm trying to imagine, like, man. Yeah, Woodstock had about 400K, 500K. Uh, my boy was telling me uh, that Woodstock quit ticketing people because they were crashing the gates. So, you know, close to half a million people were attending Woodstock at, at one point. I, well, Bodine, that's why I asked you a question. Have you been there? Gosh, you don't listen. Oh. I don't know how your wife deals with you. God bless her heart. Quinn Holmes, the 250. Indian. <laughs> Bodine, I don't know why you're not performing anymore, bro. You're hilarious, man. You're you're a regular knee slapper. I'm still trying to imagine what three million people would look like listening to, <laughs> to Rod Stewart. What? Hey Siri. What's Rod Stewart's number one song? No, man. Oh, Siri, you failed me on that one. Gosh. Oh, get your eat your dinner. Oh. All right. Box four time. Keep it going. 3.5 million people. I'm telling you, that's a lot. That, that's an insane number for a venue, for a concert. Like, that's crazy. Could you imagine the traffic? Well, they're all homeless, so they, you know, they probably just slept on the beach. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. to four ninety nine for the Padres. I've oh, Bodine, I've had, I've had many, many conversations with Siri, and yeah, I've called her, I've called her that many times, Tainies. And her response is pretty hilarious. Ivan Mott, don't you think I'm sexy? I'm not at liberty to answer that because there might be kids watching. But the answer is yes, Ivan. All right, let's uh, finish up here, see what else we got. Matt Hall, Tigers Atomic. Yeah, dude, no, Copacabana is. Have you seen? Look up Google Copacabana Beach. It's a huge beach. Oh, don't you? Oh, you mean Rod Stewart? Don't you think I'm sexy? Never mind. Ivan, I thought you were asking me if I thought you were sexy. Of course I think you're sexy. Uh, Otani, paper for the Angels. 
Rod Stewart, Don't You Think I'm Sexy. I'm going to have to listen to that song because I not I don't know about Rod Stewart. Damn, what pick what venue is this? Or that is that Copa Copacabana right there? That's a lot of people, yo. Dude, it's as far as the eye can see. Like, damn. That's a lot of people. So where was he performing as Michael? Like, Rod Stewart would have had to have been like up here <laughs> for everybody to like see him. Like what was the stage? That's what, like how many speakers? Like so many questions. Sorry, Ivan. Sorry, Ivan. Sorry. That's a recreat. That's a crazy picture, Tomas. Appreciate you doing the research. I got I got a crockpot team of uh, research and development. Byron Buxton to two fifty for the Twins. If I'm not mistaken, we still are missing one autograph. Who's you gonna bring? Don't you think I'm sexy? All right, I gotta listen to that Rod Stewart song. Who knows, Bodine? Who knows? Apparently, they they like Rod Stewart in Brazil. Who would who would have thunk it? I will admit though, I don't I don't know a single Rod Stewart song. At least not like by heart. I could probably catch, listen to the tune and be like, oh, I've heard that before. We have Lazaro, Lazaro Armenteros to four ninety nine for the A's. It's a nice card. Apparently, Bodine. Apparently. The old kitty magnet, you know, and I'm trying to keep it PG somewhat, uh, Bodine, you know, because uh, you, you never know who's watching. You know, the last thing I need is like some five-year-old kid asking their, asking their dad or mom, Dad, Mom, what's Uncle Jesse talking about? Tacking about what? I just turned Bostonian for a second there. It's a redemption. A Chrome Prospect Auto Orange Shimmer Variation Refractor Parallel of Luis Robert. That's nice. Well, Bodine, you'd be surprised, bro. You would be so. I could show you the messages. Luis Robert, I believe that's a White Sox. That's a nice card. That is a nice card. Yeah, but I can't exactly say that, Bodine, right? Majestic football coming up. I do. I got to hear that one Rod Stewart song, though. Like, I, I just have to. I, I want to know what, what made 3.5 Brazilians show up to Copacabana Beach to go listen to the man. What else we got here? Last stack mojo. Yeah, Lewis Robert is a white suck. That's a big time card. And that was the break. So to recap it, we had the Lewis Robert Chrome Prospect Autograph Orange Shimmer Variation Refractor Parallel. That goes to the White Sox, I believe. You don't got to read. Uncle Jesse will do that for you. Uh, Mike Shawarin, Red Sox. Derek Hall, Phillies. And DJ Peters, Dodgers, were the autographs. And that was the break, my friends. 2018 Bowman Hobby, four box, number 30, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.